hello welcome back to the channel my name's nicole go by pennies to riches on instagram and youtube um today i'm gonna do a ship with me video for my monday sales um, monday orders from july 12th um so here is that clip we can get started got this J Crew cheetah print sweater. Need some more light in here. There we go. Size small that sold. We have to ship out. Do you want to come put it in the bag, buddy? Sure. Hold it just like this. Your hands are clean, right? No paint? No. No. Put it in that bag neatly. You gotta go over there. This is Landon. He's being my helper today. <laughs> Here, put some garbage down there. packaging it I just label on the outside of the bag what it is so that I know when I'm doing the labels I already packaged this one it's just uh, tiny little shoes that are glass Cute J. Crew shirt. It took way longer than I thought to sell because, like, I would love to keep this if it's my size. We could use a smaller bag, but I don't know where they are. Get in the video, buddy. Yeah, here you gotta put them, put them in there. Oh, 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 wait, we gotta do it neatly. Open the bag and I'll shove it in there. I like it to be folded still while it's in the bag. And we don't have any thank you cards. We're trying thank you stickers. Um, the ones we ordered are much smaller than I thought they would be. So I'm going to put that on the outside of the bag right by where the uh, label goes. I think we might switch back to cards again next time. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. The stickers were cheaper for a lot uh, more of them. This one I'm going to say J. Crew yellow so I know which J. Crew it is. All right. Do you need this one there? Not yet. After we do the labels. Okay. Alright, we got these shorts, which... Do you, want me to do the, do you want me to do the labels, Mary? Yeah, when it's time. Hold on. Why? What is that one? Okay. And they paid first class for these, so... Is this, sure the, right one. Is this the machine that you make the yeah, labels stretch. with, Mommy? Yes. Size 2, yep. They paid first class for these, so we'll just do a regular envelope. Sometimes, depending on how heavy they are, which I've had pretty heavy shorts before, especially if they're in a larger size, I'll do um, the flat rate envelopes for those too. But when I can do first class for people, it's easier for them, easier for me, less the money. I guess it's not easier for me. I mean, the other envelopes are the same, same type of deal. I actually like them a lot better, but they're the flat rates. Oh, let's label this. A E shorts. American Eagle. Alright, in the last eBay sale, I already packaged up a few things before I decided to do this video. So um is this guy gonna fit in a bag, do you think? I don't know. I don't know either. This is the biggest bag we have. I don't know if he's gonna fit in there. <laughs> Let's try. Don't rip him. He is pretty squishy. His head is popping out. <laughs> yeah. We might have to use two bags. I've done that before. This is that puffle lump that was in a haul video not too long ago. Vintage. Alright, sometimes when this happens, because it's a stuffed animal, I don't want to use a box and add the extra weight. I'll do this. 
do like a Franken bag. Kind of like a pillowcase here. Yeah, it does feel like a pillow, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't want to stick to each other. Okay, we got it. Now we just need to put tape around this side. So I've decided that I have to get some sort of camera, even if it's not a GoPro, I need to get uh even if it's the knockoff, whoops, sorry, buddy. Can you scoop it down a little bit? I gotta come back and play with it. Um, even if it's like the knockoff version of a GoPro, because my phone, the reason I never got my video up until Sunday this week, my phone's storage isn't even that full, but the, the video editor I was using was not working, and I had to use my husband's phone, and it still wasn't working very well, so I've just resorted that I need to get. Oh, this is funny looking get a camera of some sort so I'm gonna try to do that this week so that I can make more videos then I can also do the thrift of these and the time lapses of me lifting and such because uh, I use my phone to list so right now it's kind of hard to do any sort of time lapse because I have to use my phone while I'm listing so I can't video record from a distance and use my phone at the same time obviously uh, this is a Carhartt jacket that sold on Facebook they did not pay through Facebook shipping we did it through PayPal which is always nice because even though the fee is only 5% I saved that fee they paid 50 I think plus shipping and shipping was $12 so 62 all together a little less than what I like to get for Carhartt jackets especially since this is a 2x but usually they sell really fast, and they did not. This one sat for a little while, actually, so. Mommy. I paid 20 for it, so. Yeah, buddy. What day is it? It is Monday the 12th. Oh, that's the old calendar. Huge. And I will probably put this in a box. Um, I don't know. It might end up having to go UPS, because the shipping on Facebook is a little bit different than... very workable shipping area and I'm not a fan to be honest. Can you back up a little bit buddy? <laughs> Can we go? No. Oh, which way you ship your stuff, Mom? This is this is where I ship my stuff, buddy. I don't go over there. Oh yes. um, right. okay. No, that's where I list. Anyway. <laughs> Can I go where you list? Can I please do this video? Stop. Anyway, um I would like to get some sort of buddy some sort of uh, table in here, but the problem is it's so crowded already with the boxes and everything that it's just not the greatest. But hopefully, eventually, we do figure out a different system for that. Um, I think this is gonna fit in here. I don't really need any packaging because it's a big old coat. Fold it so the zippers are in. I did have one time a shirt that I put in a bag. The um, buttons broke during shipping, so. Now I'm kind of wary if it has buttons, new with tags, um, even zippers. I try to make sure I fold it inward or put it in a box or at least a padded, padded envelope. So there. And label it as Carhartt. And then when I'm going through my listings on eBay's, this this site, I don't know if you can see it from there, probably not. This part, I don't want to show anybody's address. Um, that's when I weigh everything. So then I can just go right down and get it all put in. Which I already weighed some things, but I think it decided to reset when I wasn't on there for a few minutes. Maybe not. Maybe it's still good. So I'll go through and weigh the rest of this stuff. Those Teletubbies, I sold three... Vintage Teletubby, uh, Microsoft Teletubbies. They ended up selling for 80 bucks. She said paid 30 something dollars for shipping. And I'm gonna make a little bit of money on that, so that's good. All right, puff a lump. 
Alright, so another thing. I have another scale out there, but I don't really like that either. But this is not optimal either. So now this isn't first class anymore. Which stinks. Let's see. 23 inches. And my computer grows. Let's see. This thing is pretty big. 23 by 12. Sometimes. Here's that Carhartt jacket. This one I'm just going to write down because it's a Facebook sale. Where did I put my pen? And that weighs 4 pounds, 8 ounces. Oof. Here's a cheetah print J Crew. And that weighs nine ounces. It's one thing I do love about clothing. It's so easy to ship and weigh and package and pretty much everything but listing is easy. Storing eight ounces for those shorts. Five ounces. All right, and then I just check through it again just to be sure that I got it all. Okay, right, so total shipping is $63. Pay for those, print them out, and then I'll have Landon help me put the labels on if he wants to. Do you want to help me to come? Got my Rolo printer over here. I love this. It works so well. Don't mind my trash. It needs to be taken out in here. You gotta pull up, buddy. Up. And then to put the labels on, instead of, I used to write down like the zip code, but now what I do is I just go to this screen where you go to print your labels here. And instead I just scroll down and it shows the names of everybody and what they bought. So then I just do it that way. All right. Off of where I wrote right there. Yep, and then you can put a thank you sticker right next to the label. Okay. There you go. It's summertime, so now my sister's kids are here too, and I've been bringing at least one of mine to the shop pretty much every day now. Um, okay. Which makes it kind of tricky, because even though they're older, they still demand the attention that you... It's hard to get when you're trying to work and concentrate on everything, but we do what we can. All right, this next one is the, this is a manual for a Ford Mustang that were in this? my haul video last week. Those sold already for $30. Right. And, one, and then what's the next one? Oh, you forgot. Oh, it's already stuck down. It's okay. It's going to have to be totally straight and everything. All right. Let's see. Good job, bud. Alright. Alright, we go. And this along sold for $37.50 plus shipping. Thank you, sticker. Thank you, sticker goes right. This is a mortuary, mortuary, I'm probably saying it, mortuary law book. Um, it sold for $40. I did post this on my Instagram. $40 plus shipping. Um, there we go. I just want to make sure I got over the top of that writing, bud. Uh, $40 plus shipping. I got that at a, it was in an auction lot. I don't remember if it was an auction on high bid that I got it from or storage auction, to be honest. But it was one of those and I only have Landon the light you're gonna knock it over bud oh. <laughs> and I have um about 25 cents into that so that was a good sale and this is those vintage teletubbies they're Microsoft teletubbies you want to do a thank you sticker buddy down here 
Oh, there's already one on here. Yeah. No. Um, they're Microsoft Teletubbies, and they sold for eighty dollars for three of them. Mommy, I got an this entire one bin. Have a label. I know. Or we're, we're, we're getting there. I bought an entire bin of those at a yard sale for five dollars. Um, I'll hold this box. Right they here. had all different kinds. They had some that talks and light up, little keychains. Right here. Thank you, sticker. Last but not least, this is a pair, a little vintage, popular imports. They're small little glass decorative shoes. Uh, they only sold for three dollars plus shipping. I've had these for a while. They were a bad pickup on my part. I probably paid like two dollars for them, so I basically just lost money. But, All right. Or gained a couple cents anyway. But anyway, they're sold and they're out the door. Okay, really, you take care of that garbage. Right there's mine. There we go. All good. All right. So now I have to do this car heart, which I think I'm going to end up looking at. I'll look at pirate ship first. See what happens. All right, so I ended up having to spend twenty-one dollars because, of course, this Carhartt coat was going to Washington. <laughs> uh, he paid twelve, so that means I lost eleven dollars out of the fifty that he paid. So not the greatest sale, but still sale, still made money. It is what it is. You live and you learn. Um, I don't think that on Facebook because you only have to put the weight on Facebook. They don't ask you the dimensions. I'm talking, buddy. <laughs> Landed. They don't ask you the dimensions, so on Facebook, the shipping's a little bit cheaper than um, when you're going on Pirate Ship. I tried Pirate Ship and UPS, and surprisingly, Pirate Ship was actually cheaper um, through Priority Mail, so that's what I went with. So, Yeah, so I don't think I'll do, be doing like personal message me sales for the same shipping as I would on Facebook. I'll have to ask them their address and then give them the shipping cost instead of... Doing a flat rate shipping like that, unless I know it's something light that I can do it that way. So, um, I think next I'm going to do what sold for the entire last week. That was my weekend uh, sales, and a few of those were from Friday. I just hadn't shipped them out yet. So, um, do my weekend or my whole week sales, and then I'll give you guys like a breakdown, a financial breakdown of what I spent, what I made, and all that good stuff. And now I want to do a what sold from June 30th through uh, today, actually, which is July 13th. So it's about two weeks again. <laughs> um, so I'll start with eBay first. I'll put the screenshots up here. I sold these Acme cowboy boots um, for $30 plus shipping. I picked them up not long ago. I think I picked them up for $10. So $20 profit. That's doubling my money. That's good for me. Um, and they sold really quickly. I just listed those at the end of last week and they sold over the weekend. I talked about these in the ship with me portion too. This is the next day from that video. So <laughs> um, the auto manual, again, I talked about with the shipping. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip the next few things because I'm going to put the screenshots in the ship with me portion of the video. So I am going to tell you guys my numbers at the end of this video. Um, I didn't do that last time and I just, it felt kind of incomplete. So, uh, I also sold this, uh, Florida Seminoles hat for $22 free shipping that I've had for a while. It is a wool hat. Uh, I picked it up for two bucks or so at Salvation Army. I sold two of these Dickies sunshades for six dollars a piece. My husband actually picked those up when I first started reselling. They were on clearance for three dollars a piece at Walmart. So double my money there. I did make a little bit on shipping on each of those. He did pay shipping twice because he messaged me after I'd already um, shipped out the first one. So I made a little bit of money on that, which was nice. Uh, these Skechers shoes, I've had these for a little while, but I picked them up. I think I picked them up during the half off sale at Salvo, which uh, means they were probably like $3. They sold for $15 plus shipping. 
These new Tags Levi's, I sold these for $45 plus shipping. I actually had them in a lot. There was two different kinds or two different colors and they were up for $90 for the lot. So someone had bought them for $70 on an offer, never paid. Somebody else had messaged me wanting one pair of them. So I sold them to them after I was able to cancel the order for $45 plus shipping. Still have to get the other pair, speaking of, <laughs> uh, listed singly on there. Um, I got those for $5 a piece at a yard sale. So awesome profit there. These vintage um, wooden sailor figurines, I got them for $0.50 cents a piece at our local Habitat for Humanity. They sold for $14 plus shipping. These Thomas the Train boots, I've had these since the very beginning of my thrifting <laughs> eBay career. Um, and they did sell for $15.99 plus shipping, which is kind of surprising. They are toddler boots, but they have like the 3D Thomas the Train kind of vintage look. So I'm glad they finally sold. This American Eagle men's button up uh, pay paid, <laughs> sold for $6 plus shipping. Any of those button ups, I never spend more than like two, maybe three dollars, depending on when I picked it up. <laughs> um, so six dollars plus shipping, not bad. This was a nice sale. These duck feet boots, I did not know this brand, but I could tell the leather was really high quality, and I saw the little flag on there. So I did a Google lens search, and actually mine sold for less than what you can sell them for, but. I picked them up for $20 at Salvation Army, same time I got all the new with tags boots, um, and these sold for $110 plus shipping. These small boot figurines, which again, I think I talked about this during the ship with me, they sold for $3 bucks plus shipping, the total was $12.57 after they paid shipping and taxes, um, bad pickup on my part. This uh, RV coupler sold for $10 free shipping, this is from the auction lot, I have about 10 to 25, I don't know, cents into this. It's, I've had, again, since the beginning of the, the thrifting, when I got the storage auction uh, lot. These LLB Nuitag linen pants sold for $20 plus shipping. I think I paid up a little for those because they were new. I think they were like $7. They were half off at um, Salvation Army. So that was a nice profit there. These little Neopets, um, they were... At Goodwill Bins, there was this little, I went, we went at the end of the day that day because we had gone to, to Rochester. We were supposed to go to Seabreeze and I got the date wrong. <laughs> so we went to Chuck E. Cheese's with the kids and then stopped at the bins. Um, they were in a tote with a bunch of little stuffed animals and there were some really good ones in there. These two little Neopets sold for $40 plus shipping. Um, there's also a Randall that I hope, a Randall from Monsters University that I hope sells quickly. Uh, that's worth $45. It had a pretty good sell-through rate. Uh, these Born Sandals, these are the ones that returned to me in my last What Sold video. Uh, and they sold again for, I think, $5 less. So they sold for $20 plus shipping. So I'm happy with that. I already got a good review, so they should stick this time. <laughs> these Avent Bottles, I sold for $12 plus shipping. Um, this, I think I got those for like 9 on clearance at Walmart a while ago. Thought they'd sell for a lot more. Didn't think about the shipping. That was a while ago. This untested guitar for rock band sold for $10 plus shipping. I didn't want to test it. I didn't feel like bringing out a Wii for it. So turned it on. It did turn on, but I never tested connecting it or anything. So these ones, this Fender Stratocaster doesn't go very for very much with the Wii anyways. That's why I didn't bother with it. Um, so there's that. These Kelvin Klein leggings sold for $7 plus shipping. Uh, they were, I think they were a Ben's pickup actually, so not a lot into those. This Mario plush, the Koopa Troopa, <laughs> never heard of that character. It looks like a yellow Yoshi to me. Uh, sold for $9.70 plus shipping. This thing was like this tall. Um, I'm not even kidding. And that was in that same bin at the bins that I got those two little Neopets in. So I already made really good money on that. These Disney sandals sold for $10 plus shipping. Um, they, I've had those for a little while, but I got them for like $2 at my local Salvation Army. Rock and Republic jeans, $15 plus shipping. I don't remember where I got those, but they were a recent pickup. They might have even been at the bins, to be honest. They might even be in a haul video. I'm not sure. 
This Carhartt Pearl Snap shirt um, that looked pretty much brand new sold for $38 plus shipping. Um, this Cobby top, which was $2.99 at my local Salvation Army, sold for $27 plus shipping. That's more of the, the type of brands I'm trying to pick up now. So hopefully I can find more of those. We're going to be going to the bins again soon, and I'm ordering my camera finally. <laughs> Uh, at the end of this week. So maybe next time we go to the bins, I can take you guys with me. That would be awesome. These YMI shorts, which I got at the bins, sold for $6 plus shipping. This Pyrex, I had never seen this type before. It was like a yellow casserole dish, but it was like speckled with little brown paint. It was kind of cool looking. Um, but it was kind of hard to photograph. So I think that's why it sat for, it only sat for like a month, but usually Pyrex kind of flies off the shelf for me. I don't know. Sold for 18 plus shipping. This Godfather book, again, I got that with that same storage auction lot, um, and that sold for $3 plus shipping. They left me a negative feedback, but it said thanks, so I replied to them asking if they meant to do that or if <laughs> uh, they need to revise it, and hopefully they do. Not that I care about one, one bad feedback. I have 160 feedback, and I think now there's three that are bad um, that are negative, so... And that last one I don't think is a real negative, to be honest. So I could have gotten one removed, but I never got around to disputing it. And I should have, um, because we did, we had a resolution with that guy for the Wii that I, that was a nightmare. <laughs> um, these Eddie Bauer work pants, they were listed and they sold within like a day of listing on for $15 plus shipping. I got those at the bins. I know that. Um, there you go, guys. Hold on. Get some of them. And then these Tommy swim trunks sold for $12 plus shipping. And I didn't add, like I said, in here the ones I'm going to talk about in the ship me portion of this video. So um, the math does include those, obviously, though. So, um, and then on Facebook, didn't have any sales. I don't know. Facebook's been slow. I haven't been listing as much on there. I've been kind of focusing more on eBay, to be honest. Um, and I had, didn't have any on Poshmark in the last, I don't know how long. I don't know if I'm going to continue with Poshmark because I don't, I don't share my stuff because it just, I wish that they had a button where you could share your entire closet. You know, it's silly to me to waste my time sharing individual items for them to, you know, I don't know, not sell, sell for a little amount. I don't know. They take a lot in their fees and then you have to share your closet all the time just to get stuff to sell. It just seems kind of a waste of time, honestly. So, um, I haven't cross listing as much as I should be period. Like I said, I've just been trying to focus on getting 10 listings a day up on eBay. Um, and we'll see if I can come up with a better system to get more cross listed, but maybe not. Maybe I should just focus on eBay and go from there. Anyway, Facebook, this was a private sale. I talked about this yesterday too. I did run the numbers though. It was a Carhartt jacket. It was $62. Shipping ended up costing me 21 lesson learned. <laughs> and there was a $3 fee. So I ended up making like 38 bucks for that Carhartt jacket, which is not the greatest, but it is what it is. Lesson learned. Don't do the private sale shipping with Facebook because you're probably going to get screwed over with shipping because Facebook allows you just to put in the weight and it's a weight range. So, oh, well, um, this set of three Pyrex sold on Mercari I earned $44.12 from that. That was after fees and everything. Um, going back to Facebook for some reason. <laughs> this Barbie salon, which I got a whole tote of Barbie, vintage Barbie furniture for $5 at the Habitat for Humanity. And this sold for eleven forty, or I made eleven forty two dollars after all fees and shipping and all that stuff. And these Georgia boots I made, this is some of those new with tags. So these were $30.00. Um, I made $93.73 after fees. This wooden African type statue I got at a Salvation Army for I think $4. Sold for $17.98, or my earnings were $17.98. And the Skechers, after all fees and stuff, my earnings were $18.46. Um, I don't remember when I got those or how much they were. Again, if you haven't seen my other videos, I do the 
cash method. I don't do the accrual method. I think that's the one it's called. Um, where I keep all my receipts. I write that down for tax purposes in my little book here. Um, but I do not keep track of what every item costs. That's way too time consuming for me. So, um, and as far as my cost of goods, I kind of go off, um, what I spent for that week rather than what I spent on the stuff that I sold. Cause again, I don't keep track of what every item costs me. I just keep the receipt for the entire trip and put that into my book. So, all right. So I did my calculations and I looked at my sales report on eBay. Um, I can try to do a video. I need to figure out how to screen record on the Mac. I know you can do it. I've seen other sellers do it. So I could show you how to do that if you don't know how. Um, but I looked at it for this time period and after fees and shipping and everything else, I made $698.74 on eBay. So that's within about two weeks or so. Um, and that was 37 items sold with an average of $31.83 um, per item. On Facebook, I just added up all the earned ones that I wrote down. And that was $179.59. That's after fees and shipping and everything already. Same with Mercari. I made $44.12. And so all in all in that two week period, so from June 30th to July 13th, I made $922.45 gross. Obviously that's not uh, taking taxes out yet, but that is after fees, shipping and everything else. And all those platforms, as far as I know, <laughs> take the sales tax for you. So I don't have to worry about that. I live in New York and it's, so it's an 8% sales tax. Um, I save 25% for taxes, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so let me see. I'm just going to do the math here. So $230 of that would have to go to taxes. So I'd be looking at around 700 or so for the two weeks after taxes. Um, of course, I don't have that much in my account right now because I am still trying to get inventory. I'm up to 800 and let me see. Fourteen, eight hundred twenty-one. Oh, I went up more. <laughs> uh, eight hundred twenty-one items on eBay, um, and my goal is like twenty-five hundred. So I've still got a ways to go. So really, all the money that I make is going right back into the business, minus the small amount that I have to pay for my bills for the month. Um, so yeah, and this month my Mercari is already set to uh, pay the rent for this building. And we also have money from the storefront that we've made that's going to pay part of that too. So I'm in pretty good shape um, in middle of July, which is awesome. So hopefully everything keeps picking up. I say that every video. <laughs> um, kind of just being boring, just listing every day. Trying not to shop too much because I still have a huge death pile downstairs. Um, I've been good about when I do buy stuff, I'm listing it right away. But I need to stop buying stuff because I have to go downstairs <laughs> and get the rest of my death pile up here and get that listed. My goal is to get that, I'll say halfway done by August 1st. So um, I recently just hit 7,000 90 day total on eBay, which is the first time that's happened and it's awesome. Um, but my goal is to hit 8,000 by the end of July or early August. And then by the end of 2021, I want to be up to 20,000. I don't know if that's feasible, but I'm going to try um, really hard. I'm hoping to be up to 1,500 to 2,000 items by November, I'll say. Think I can do it? <laughs> Hopefully. So I think that's about it for this video. I'm so glad I'm going to be getting a camera. It's going to make this so much easier. My phone storage is just... Being a pain and the, the app that I use to edit things is being a pain. So I got to learn more about that and start using my MacBook here to do that instead. It's probably easier anyway. So anyway, like, subscribe if you get any value out of my videos and I will see you next time.